มีอะไรจะถาม Any question I have a general question We have many wars We have many wars uh, in in the world and what can a single person do to uh, have the, to uh, to reduce the ambition to make more of the world? In the or in the story of the world there are two types of situations those we can control and those we cannot. The situations we can control usually do not cause much trouble, but the ones we cannot control often do. No matter how much we try, we cannot control what is beyond our power. If we attempt to control what is out of our reach, we will feel suffering. War is something beyond our control, but that does not mean we are powerless to act within the bounds of what we are able to do. We have talked about world peace for a long time. But we have never truly achieved it. This is because we lack what is called understanding, which is why world peace cannot come to fruition. Buddhism attempts to teach understanding through the teachings known as the Four Noble Truths, which include suffering, the cause of suffering, the cessation of suffering, and the path leading to the cessation of suffering. We are taught to view all human beings as suffering, so we do not create more suffering on top of the existing suffering that exists in each other. Therefore, we always have compassion for each other, our friends around us, people we are related to, people in society, and our country. Compassion prevents us from leading to war against one another because the Buddha taught us to empathize with our fellow human beings who share the same suffering. The cause of suffering is not understanding suffering itself, and thus we create more causes for suffering. Since all humans share suffering, we fail to see that the suffering others experience is just like the suffering within ourselves. If we understand the suffering in others as we do our own, we will have compassion for everyone. When there is no understanding of the suffering in our fellow human beings, it leads to the causes of suffering, wanting to harm, oppress, or cause others distress. If we learn about suffering and recognize that everyone experiences suffering. Equally, we will avoid adding to the existing suffering. By being mindful of our own suffering and ensuring it does not affect others, the desire to harm will be resolved. Whatever causes us suffering, we would not want others to make us suffer in that way, and similarly, we would not cause others to suffer in the same way. The perspective of viewing life through suffering serves as a way for Buddhists to train and refine their minds, preventing the desire to exploit or harm others. However, in reality, we still engage in behaviors like insulting, envying, and gossiping about each other. Yet, each time, we return to the teachings, cultivate mindfulness within ourselves, and practice compassion. For this reason, we must continually train ourselves. Even though there may be moments of harm, anger, insults, or envy, we always come back to studying the Dharma and working on self-improvement. During our practice, even if we feel anger, we will calm it down and not let it harm anyone. Similarly, even if we feel envy toward others, we will not let that envy harm anyone and will quickly calm it. Sometimes we may feel hatred toward someone, but we will examine that feeling within ourselves without letting it turn into hostility toward them. We understand that suffering exists within us, just as it does within them, everyone shares suffering. We always strive to resolve or extinguish our own suffering first. If we let our anger harm others, they will respond with their own anger, leading to endless conflict. When we practice calming our anger and manage to suppress it within ourselves, even if others remain angry, there will be no conflict. However, if we cannot control our anger and respond to others with that anger, leading to arguments, this becomes a catalyst for war. Buddhism has rarely engaged in wars throughout history because we cultivate our minds to avoid using anger to harm others. At most, it is those who have not practiced calming their anger who might cause social unrest by hurting one another. When anger arises in the minds of others, we cannot control it. However, when anger arises within us, we have the means to calm it. Therefore, the anger that occurs in the minds of others is beyond our control. While the anger that arises in our own minds is something we can manage, the Buddha teaches us to observe emotions such as anger, dissatisfaction, and irritation, recognizing their arising, presence, and cessation. 
when we practice this, we can calm our anger and refrain from expressing it outwardly. This practice fosters inner wisdom that enables us to control and address the emotions within our hearts. Even if anger still lingers and does not completely disappear, this wisdom will help us manage our anger effectively.